Let's test if Bone Lab really is physics based using Isaac Newton's laws of motion, which is the basis for modern physics. Our first law is the law of inertia. A body at rest remains at rest, or if in motion, remains in motion at a constant velocity unless acted on by a net external force. We feel gravity pulling us towards the earth, but we don't fall towards the earth because the ground is acting as the normal force and pushes us back up. I set up this go-kart to test this law. Our go-kart is traveling at a constant speed. Our lovely test subject Ford is on top of our car, but not attached to it. Our car is in motion, but it's about to hit the wall. Therefore, according to Newton's first law, Ford will want to continue moving in the forward direction and will travel at a constant velocity and fly past the car. It was a success. We can test it again and the exact same things happen. I'll give this one a pass. Ford even survived this one. When Barry puts force onto the board, the board and roll will fly off and the egg will land into the cup. I've set up a bin, a food tray, a battery and a ball. When the power puncher force pushes against a tray, it should cause the tray to fly away, but the ball to fall into the bin as the friction will not be high enough for the ball to move with the tray. I tried this several times and the physics was just glitching out. After a bit of practice, I got it to work, kind of. I think if we had better objects and conditions to test these, it would work perfectly. With this initial attempt, there wasn't enough force applied to the bottom. Doubling our force caused the experiment to work. The ball fell perfectly into the cup I made. In inertia beads, the arcing of the beads is caused by the downward force of gravity overcoming the upward inertia of the moving bead. This causes all the beads to fall out and give the appearance that they are defying gravity. I tried to replicate this using the weld gun and some baseballs. That said, with the tools in Bone Lab, I don't think I was able to accurately do this test. The welded balls do look really cool though. I believe the issue is that the rope no clips through objects. And it's far too elastic. I wanted to really make sure I tested it. I used this trapezoid to put the balls in the perfect position you can really start to see the limitations of the marrow interaction engine. I threw them over this giant blocker. This should cause all the baseballs to slowly fly over. It became really evident again that the tether rope was no clipping through objects. Newton's second law states that force is equal to mass times acceleration. This means that the object with the most mass will roll down the hill the fastest. I set up all these balls lined up on the hill in the exact same starting position. When I remove the cylinder, they'll all go down the hill at the same time. Based off my approximations of the weight of each object, this worked. The balls rolled down the heaviest to the lightest. The baseball was the lightest and it was taking forever. I got some weird results testing this out on the different avatar masses. Newton's third law states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. The coolest example of this is Newton's cradles. The Newton's cradle is a device that demonstrates the conservation of momentum and the conservation of energy with swinging spheres. When one sphere at the end is lifted and released, it strikes the stationary spheres, transmitting a force through the stationary spheres that pushes the last sphere upward. The last sphere swings back and strikes the nearly stationary spheres, repeating the effect in the opposite direction. Using the weld gun and some balls, we can test this in Bone Lab. I was shocked that this even slightly worked. We know that Unity has to use approximations for its physics, otherwise it would just take up way too much processing power. That's why I was extremely surprised I could even slightly get this working. It was hard to get everything lined up perfectly, and for this experiment everything does need to be lined up perfectly or it won't fully work. I experimented using gravity plates. I built a much smaller scale one with basketballs. As you can see, the transfer of energy worked a lot better. I'll have to revisit this one at a later date, but I'm very happy with the result. The fact that I was even able to replicate one of the balls was incredible. There was such thing as too much force. I tried to do it with these balls and no matter what I did, it failed. This was most likely due to the mass of the balls. They were far too heavy for the force I was applying to them. When you drop a tennis ball onto a basketball, the basketball's kinetic energy gets transferred to the tennis ball, causing it to shoot across the room. This was another one that worked really well in Bone Lab. Absolutely amazing. And as a bonus, we can test out the conservation of energy, which tells us that when we drop this basketball and it converts into kinetic energy, the ball will not be able to go higher than its original position when it swings back. Another massive success. With all these tests successfully working, it's safe to say that Bone Lab is a physics-based game.